What is going on everyone? Thank you so much for coming back today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day just to click on the video. Um, I say it every time and I think I'll continue to say it. It truly means the world to me, so thank you so much. Um, if you want to support me, the best way to do that is hitting that thumbs up button down below, hitting the like button. Um, if you're not a subscriber, I'm really making a push towards 900, so I'd really love to cross that milestone for me. Uh, so if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button, and then outside that, turn on that little post notification and select all. And then YouTube will notify you anytime that I upload a new video. Now, I did recently just upload a video, uh, Saturday on a movie review. It is my first movie review that I've ever, like, posted on the channel, so I was, like, uh, just rumbling and just want to get through it as fast as I possibly can. So, um, bear with me on those. Hopefully, they'll get a little bit better. Uh, but if you know, if you do truly want, like, a great movie review and a great channel, go check out Grant over at McGuffin Man. Um, you know, I've known the dude since, uh, I think, whenever I first started doing YouTube videos... But truly, a, a great channel as far as movie reviews. Um, I generally, anytime a movie review comes out, I want him to do it because I trust his opinion that much. Um, he's really, really good. But as far as me doing my reviews, I feel like, you know, he's Target and I'm like Dollar Tree. You're still going to get what you need, but, eh, you know, it's a little iffy. But go check him out. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. But let's go ahead and get into today's video, guys. Um, I think I got a great one planned for you guys. I'm talking about... Rick Moranis. Now, this guy played a huge part in my childhood. Uh, made my childhood great with all the uh, the movies that he was was in, was made, was a part of. Um, you know, truly, truly just a great guy. And kind of also, too, gave the, uh, you know, the nerds, um, you know, like my little dweebs whenever we were growing up. You know, he gave us hope that, you know, you will grow up to be something cool, you know. So... No, uh, Rick Moranis was born Frederick Allen uh, Moranis on April 18th, 1953 in Toronto, Canada. Um, now, as he was getting his start, a lot of people don't know this, Rick Moranis actually started off as a DJ. Uh, which is kind of funny that, imagine, uh, you know, uh, Rick Moranis up there, like, just, like, doing the turntable. Um, but no, he, uh, so from there, he actually didn't get onto Second City. He was a part of the Second City group that... You know, I've done a lot of videos on, on that, and um, um, I really need to get one in the works of Second City because almost all my videos that I've done up to this point has involved someone that was associated with Second City. So, um, no, he did join in the third season. Um, he was quickly, they quickly knew what his talents were, so they asked him to develop and write a, you know, like a bit that's going to be on the show. But he did come up with a bit, Strange Brew, which later on they did turn into the movie of that, but of Bob and Doug McKenzie, um, it was such a great bit, you know, this is something that he's relived throughout the years, too, um, and it's just an iconic, iconic part of Second City. You know, he'd been in several roles, but Louis Tolley on Ghostbusters is really where he had his breakout role. He went on to be in Little Shop of Horrors, where actually no one knew that he had, like, this mu musical, um, ability to sing until he was in the Little Shop of Horrors, so that's something kind of cool as well. All in all, he has 44 acting credits on his IMDb, um, but the movies that stick out to me the most, um, obviously Spaceballs, uh, where he plays Lord Dark Helmet. Uh, we have Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. We have um, Little Giants. We have the Flintstones. Uh, man, the list goes on and on. Obviously, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2, Little Shop of Horrors. Uh, Parenthood, that's another one he was into. I think he was actually um, maybe Best Supporting Actor. I... I'm not sure, so I'm not going to, like, for sure say that. Um, but no, so, um, he was at the top of his game. He was very, very good at what he did. He played this, you know, the, the character. It wasn't the same character, but it was kind of the same type of character that he did. But in every role, he just reinvented that role and just had a twist on it to make it his own. Uh, which, you know, is something that is so hard to do. Um, to play, you know, you get characterized and you get into the same role and you have to continuously get roles in the same character, kind of say. But in 1986, he did marry Anne Belsky. They did end up having two children, Michael and Rachel. Um, you know, Anne was, she was already in the business. She was a makeup and like a costume designer. She was diagnosed with breast cancer and unfortunately in February 1991, 
um, and did lose her battle to uh, breast cancer. Um, you know, and that took a big toll on Rick being a single father. Um, he still continued to do movie roles, but his last role did come in 1997 as far as a major motion picture where he was starring in front of um, Honey, I Shrunk Ourselves, which was never a theatrical release. It just was straight to VHS and straight to home video, which is one of those movies that I, I do like that movie. I, I'm a sucker for Rick Moranis. But no, as far as the traveling and the being away from home, being the single parent, you know, in 1997, uh, Moranis did decide that, you know, this, he needs to take a step away. He needs to take a step back to be there for his kids. Um, he said in a statement that, I'm a single parent. I just found that it was too difficult to manage raising my kids and doing the traveling involved in making movies. Uh, so I took a little bit of a break and a little bit of a break turned into a longer break. And then I found out that I really don't miss it that much. Um, you know, for this man to be at, like I said, at the top, um, as, you know, far as just movies, 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 um, in such iconic roles for, uh, us as a viewer and as an audience to step away from that to take care of his family, uh, just tells you what such a great guy Rick Moranis is to step away. Now, in the time being, he has done some spots in TV shows or like, um, radio shows and stuff like that. All the work he did, it was pretty much stuff that he could be gone for a day, come back home at night. He did not want to stay away from his family that much. And, you know, I truly, truly respect that. But he did land several voice acting roles in, uh, say, like the animated movie Big Brother as Rut. Also, too, as I was doing research for this, I never knew that Rick Moranis had a comedy album that he produced. And in 2006, he was actually nominated uh, for Grammy as far as Best Comedy Album. It's just kind of crazy. But in 2007, he did revise the role of Strange Brew in a TV special um, that was just awesome to see him come back and do that. Now, he has done some other stuff as well. I know he appeared in the uh, commercial for Mint Mobile with Ryan Reynolds. Um, it's a great commercial, just like Ryan Reynolds. Like, who doesn't want to see Rick Moranis? But here's where things take kind of a sad turn. October 1st, 2020, uh, Rick Moranis is just walking down the sidewalk in Lower Manhattan. And just out of nowhere, um, this 37-year-old homeless dude, uh, Marquise Ventura, just came up and sucker punched um, Rick Moranis right there. Knocked him to the ground. Now, Moranis did suffer head, neck, back injuries. Um, but for no reason. Didn't, like, steal anything. Just came up and punched him in the face. And so... Um, later on he was caught and he, uh, actually admitted to six other crimes that he had committed where he had, like, robbed a shop and punched the owner in the face, and so he is serving a two-year sentence right now for that. Um, also, too, most notably, he has turned down some, uh, some very, very important roles, um, you know, in Ghostbusters Afterlife. I would have loved to seen him in that, um, but now that I have read the story, I understand why. But it would have just been so awesome to have him revise that role um, in Afterlife. Hopefully, maybe he'll be in some of the sequels. I hope so if they do make the sequels. Um, but the happy part about this whole video that I just love so much is that um, they have started uh, talking about rumors of... I don't know if it's rumors now or if it's confirmed. Um, but they are making a movie called Shrunk. Uh, which will involve Rick Moranis and his son, who is now older. Uh, what's his son's name in the movie? Nick, I think is his name in the movie. Uh, Nick is now older with his own kids. And I think that's all they've pretty much released at this point. But I'm on board. I'm ready for this movie 100%. But guys, that's all I have for you guys today. A um, little bit of a shorter video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, let me know down in the comments, guys. Uh, which one was your favorite Rick Moranis moment movie? Uh, for me, it still holds true. Uh, Dark Helmet, uh, Spaceball is still one of my favorite movies of all times. It still holds up. It's still funny. Uh, let me know down in the comments, guys, which one was your favorite. Um, on your way out, if you don't mind hitting that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on that post notification, and select all. And then, like I said, YouTube will send you a nice little notification. Um, if you're looking for my upload date, uh, I upload every Wednesday at 3 p.m., so that way be ready. Um, and I would love to hear from you guys. So, you know, my contact information will be down in the description below. So shoot me an email, follow me on Instagram. Um, but that's it, guys. I love you guys. Mom, I love you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.